Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another sweet lesson. I'm gonna call this Tinkercad Towers. Let's hit create new design and let's get cracking. Let's start by changing the name to Tinkercad Towers and I'm gonna put my initials after it. I've made many of these, so mine's gonna say number eight. And with it named, let's start building. Bring out a box first. Click on its corners and I want you to make it 40 by 40. And then I want you to make it 80 high. If you look at it from a corner, you'll see that you've got a nifty square base and then we raised it up high so it's a tower. And that fits the name that we chose. We need to add windows to our tower, but first let's pick a cool color. I'm gonna make mine a blue. Bring out the whole box and we're gonna use a different trick to size it. I want you to hold the shift key and stretch it up so it goes crazy big, but then I want the measurement to be 10. And if you type that in one box and press enter, it makes the entire project 10 by 10. Grab them all by selecting, notice I drug and touched it all, and then hit the align button, and we want it to be on the left corner and the front corner. Click on the big building and hide it for a minute. Click on your cute little shape and grab the middle handle on the back, stretch it to any number, but then type 40 and press enter. Bring the show all button in and let's look at it from the other side. Notice I'm just clicking the edge and boom, you can see that that piece fits perfectly. We're gonna move this around using the arrow keys, but I wanna move it five millimeters at a time, not 0.5, the entire five. Click that five millimeter grid, switch to the front corner and then the front view so that we can see our shape. And we wanna use the arrow keys to move it one click to the right. And then to move it up, we are gonna hold the control key and we're gonna tap up on the up arrow once. Now do control D to duplicate, hold down control again, and this time do the up arrow three times. We've just recorded that measurement, so now without touching anything else, if you do control D again and again, it puts those windows all the way up your building. Let's look at it from the front middle and let's hide our big building. Let's grab all of those groovy little windows we just made and make them a group. Click control D on your group and we're gonna tap the right arrow four times. Bring back your building so you can see how awesome it's gonna look. Hide your building again, and we're going to take those beautiful windows we just made, and we're going to group them again. Do Control D, because we want a second set of those windows, and we are in the perfect angle to grab that rotation handle and rotate 90 degrees. Notice if I move the mouse away from my shape, it goes one degree at a time. If I get my mouse close to the shape, it snaps with those awesome little tick marks. With all these windows in place, hit show all, and look at that, you have got an amazing building. One selection away, so notice I'm grabbing everything. Three shapes are what are listed, and when I hit group, I have windows all the way through my awesome building. Let's bring out one more box. Once again, hold the shift key and stretch any of the white corners, and I want you to change the number to 36 and press enter. Select all of your items and let's use that cool center tool. We're gonna to center it to the left, we're gonna center it to the right, and then we're gonna press W to put the work plane up on the top. So here I have clicked the work plane, I've clicked the top of my building, I'm gonna click that little hole that we just selected, and when I hit the letter D, it drops it to the top of our project. I wanna change the height of this to five millimeters thick, I'm gonna press enter. I'm gonna hit the work plane and set it back to the normal. And then let's do control and let's do down arrow to move it down five millimeters. I'm gonna change it back to one millimeter and I'm gonna do control up to raise it up one millimeter. Let's zoom into that shape using the sweet fit view to selection. And you can see it is sticking out one millimeter. Now I'm gonna draw a box that grabs both 
and when we group them, we have got a nice area so it's safer for our people or whoever visited the building to be there. All right, friends, there you have it. An awesome little tower in just a few minutes. Watch this. If you do Control D, you can do a second tower. If you do that shift and scale, it scales everything down at the same size, and you can make another version of it. If you do Control D again, I'm going to go from the original one. You can move it across, and you can also just stretch it without doing the shift, but that makes it grow in all kinds of crazy directions, so our windows become rectangles instead of squares. But it still can be quite fun to make an awesome little city with just a few cool techniques. Real quickly, I'm going to add a little dude to the top of my tower. I'm going to click the work plane, click the space, and let's switch to the characters. Scroll down and find Astrobot. When you bring him out, because I did that work plane, he drops right on the roof. I am going to hold down shift and shrink him a little bit. And then I'm going to make his size 15 so he actually fits on my building. A quick fit view to selection to double check and see if he's where I want. He's good. I'm going to go back to home. I'm going to press work plane one more time and click that blue edge so it's back to normal. And then I'm going to pat myself on the back for making an awesome little city. Hey there, friends. I hope you enjoyed this sweet, awesome lesson. Gave you some really cool skills that you can use to make many, many more incredible things. If you did like it, please hit that like button. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.